fashion brought to you by Stay Creative Clothing. Stay comfortable, stay cool, stay creative. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. It's another episode of Under the Pressure. It's your boy, Quasi Lotus. And I'm here with a good friend of mine, my homeboy, Series B. What's up with y'all? You know, shout out to Phoenix Films for having me today. You know, I could have been anywhere in the world, but I'm here with you guys. I'm high tripping, though. What's good with it, though? What's good? What's going on, man? How everything going with you, man? You know, living life, man. Just go about it, you know. Got a lot of shit going on right now in life, but, you know. I guess you got to keep pushing, man, and keep going, you know, I'm trying to prosper, you know, in these hard times, but, you know, I keep the faith, keep the faith in the universe and keep pushing, you know, you know how I go, man. True, true, true. So, with that being said, and said you, you're going through life right now, kind of give us a brief intro on who, who Series B is, man, who is Series B? Uh, well, all right, I got to take you back, see, see, I've been, I've been rapping for a while, so, but... I was Wisdom B before I was Serious B. See, that was my rap name, you know. Shout out to my boy Swag 2Gs. He from Columbia. He gave that name to me. It was either Journey or Wisdom B. So we went with Wisdom B. Shout out to Swag, though. But mm -hmm. um, I had to change the name because another artist had Wisdom B. I figured that out later on. <laughs> but um, I changed my name to Serious B. But um, Serious B, man, it's, I'm just all about black liberation. You know what I'm saying? Which is uh, liberating people, you know, through the music. You know, stimulating through conversations and all type of stuff. You know, but that's who Serious B is. You know, Black Liberation, the brand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we all about you know empowerment. It doesn't matter black, white, purple, brown, whatever. We just all about empowerment. So that's what Black Liberation is. But that's what Serious B is. You know, I'm real conscious. I'm real controversial. I'm real funny. I'm real serious. You know, but <laughs> I'm just me. You feel me? Serious B, just me. Serious B. Where you from? I'm originally from Huntington, West Virginia, you feel me? I'm from West Virginia. A lot of people think it ain't no black people from there. <laughs> and then a lot of people think West Virginia is a part of Virginia, but it's not, you feel me? I'm really from West Virginia, you know, Randy Moss, OJ Mayo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big time players, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm from West Virginia, a small town, Huntington, West Virginia, but I'm from there. But I've been in Charlotte for about 15 years, man, south side of Charlotte, all the way from Exit 4, you feel me? Nations 4, Airwood, <laughs> Archdale, Sharon Lakes. South Tryon, Where Steel Creek. It, bro? That's why I stay <laughs> Olympic High School, Southwest Middle School, all that. But yeah, that's just me. I've been in Charlotte 15 years though. So would you call West Virginia home or Charlotte home? West Virginia always gonna be home, my home. That's where my that's where my roots are. You feel me? Uh -huh. You know, RP to my grandmother, but that's where my roots are. You know what I'm saying? That's where most of my family is. I got media family here, but that's just where most of my family is. That's always gonna be home. Charlotte, just the place I came. I grew up. I learned. My mom got me away from all the troubles and words. I got friends that's convicted. You know, I got friends that's felons. I got friends that's dead. So, you know, my mom got me away from all that shit when I was about 10. So, you know, I've been in Charlotte ever since. So, that's just me. Okay. So, I know you, I know you, um, we're going to get into the music because I know you do music. But you also do film production, man. Yes. Uh, Buck TV. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Buck. You know what I'm saying? The whole movement, man. I met Buck about a year ago. You know what I'm saying? Just a young Nigga trying to get out, yeah. get out the slums, you know, chilling with your niggas. We all doing the same. We all trying to look for an outlet. I went to school for video production. I went to the Art Institute, but kind of let that go. But, you know, Buck helped me out, you know what I'm saying? Met him. We met up, you know what I'm saying? He a hard nigga to keep up with because he always <laughs> on the go. So once you get, you know, you get in acquaintance with him, you know, you know what I'm saying? You try to build, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't too many black men out here trying to show young black men how to build, you feel me? So I can appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? No value, you know what I'm saying? I, that's a valuable lesson t for me right. and for other people. But, you know what I'm saying? I do film, you know, I work with Buck. Uh, Bo Lane Slick, you know what I'm saying? Bo Lane Badass Tour. That was kind of my first introduction really into doing real shit. You know what I'm saying? Being on the road, doing shit, fucking with Slick. Shout out to the whole Bo Lane movement. Shout out to the bowl, shout out to Greenwood, but you know, doing all that shit, but you know, meeting DJ Trap, you know, meeting people like Boosie, meet, you know, different people. Open your eyes as an artist because you around other people, you see the shit they go through. Mm -hmm. Being, you know, being behind the camera, being in front of the camera, all that shit, but you know what I'm saying? Shout out to that, you know, but I got into that through school or whatever. Rubbing my arm high as fuck. <laughs> you good, bro. Uh, but yeah, man, that's the film. Buck TV, you know what I'm saying? We building shit over here. So we tr really trying to take off this year, but, uh, you know, we fuck with a lot of the local radio stations. Shout out to Streets, DJ Meddy, A-Dub, all those guys, Johnny, 
Mario, you feel me? Shout out to all those guys up there. You know, we fuck with a lot of them. So that's what we do. But remember Buck TV, we about to blow. Now I hear that. Buck TV, y'all make sure y'all check it out. And we finna work with Phoenix Films, you feel me? We finna you already do some know. major shit. Plenty of collabs coming. So um with now I know you talked about like doing different um different things with artists and stuff like that. What kind of film do you well, what kind of film do you shoot? Um so Buck T V, we shoot with you know, urban, you feel me? So I, I deal with a lot of the the music that's out now, you feel me? I'm a conscious guy. If it, if it was anything I could shoot, it would be shit of more substance and be bring more substance to the to the airwaves, but we shoot more, you know, a lot of shit, you know, the rah rah shit, you know, crazy shit. But we also shoot other things too, you feel me? But I didn't been, you know, like Bo Lane, Bo Lane Slick, let's use him for example, who I work with. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? He's from Greenwood, so you know, he, he more he from the streets, you feel me? So he telling his story. He a good dude, you feel me? A great person. But he telling his story. That's the way he brought up. So he's telling his story through his music. You know what I'm saying? I'm a conscious dude. I don't judge, but I appreciate him telling his story because he real. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I like stuff like that. But that's what mostly what I've been filming. You know, uh, Hot Bezo Dot. He from Rock Hill. He an upcoming artist. You know, Backdoor Entertainment. I fuck with them hard too. You feel me? Shout mm -hmm. out to Lay Down TV. But you know what I'm saying? But you know, that's that's more than shit I've been filming lately. But I was doing. I started doing open mic shit. You know what I'm saying? Poetry stuff and stuff like that, but I'm trying to get more into stuff like that as well. But, you know, that's more of a film. I would like to film movies and make shows with substance, though. If I'm overdoing the question, I don't know. No, no, no. That was, that was a good answer because, I mean, at the, end, at the end of the day, you said you want to get in, you want to get into, like, doing films and stuff like that. And it's good to hear that because a lot of people nowadays, it's so easy to want to go out there and do the quick film, the quick little comedy skits and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a different thing for you to actually go out there and want to do a show, a message. Like, you, like we talked about earlier, like, you know what I'm saying? Claire Huxtables and stuff like that. Like, yeah. ain't nobody got them Cosby families going no more. We yeah, that nigga Bill, they did my nigga wrong. They tried yeah. to blackball him, but it's okay. <laughs> We gonna get it back, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So like, I know, I know. A lot of times we don't, we don't really get the light shed on, on film like that. You know what I'm saying? Telling good stories because a lot of people want to see a lot of the, the non-content stuff. They just want to see the raw, raw, the drama. Like we're talking. I can dig about. it. I can dig it. So getting on to the technical stuff with, with we, I know we talked about some opinionated and stuff. Let's talk about some technical stuff. Go ahead. What, talk um, what kind of camera do you use? Uh, Sony A6000. You start off with a T3i <laughs> when you were young, nigga, but you. Move up to a Sony A6000. It's other bigger cameras than that, but that's what I'm using right now. It shoot very well, you feel me? It's great, you know what I'm saying? I love the camera. You know, it's real high definition. It's you mirrorless, right? Yes, mirrorless camera. I love it. You feel what I'm saying? I, you know, the, the crazy thing about it is, like, I come from shooting with a Canon, right? T3i. It's kind of a little heavier, you feel me? But I was used to that that Sony light, you feel me? Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's so clear. It's just crazy. Like it's just crazy, man. You just gotta get you one to see it, man. Yeah. Like I can't, I can't explain it because it's a lot of cameras out here. It's a lot of good quality cameras out here. I fuck uh -huh. with Sony, but you know what I'm saying. But just gotta, just gotta experience it. You know. What's your favorite? Um, what's your favorite lens to shoot on? Favorite sh when I was, um, fucking with the Canon with the T3 with the Canon T3i, I like to use the 50. Uh -huh. But the Sony, I use the 52 on the Sony. I like that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And give that good look. You know what I'm saying? That up close look. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the 50. That's my. I would say that. Yeah, we got you on the 50 over here, so we gonna, you the know, 50. Right, we gonna we gonna we gonna let the people see how that 50 work. All um, right. What was the last thing you shot? The last thing I shot. Uh, Cap G. He came here. Chris Brown tour. Shout to DJ SPK. Did that for her. Making moves. Yeah, she she's a beautiful lady. <laughs> she's, you know what I'm saying? That's her thing. She interview and she a DJ. You know what I'm saying? So I fuck with her hard, you know what I'm saying? Looking to work with her more. You know what I'm saying? Because she on that conscious shit, and I fuck with that shit heavy. I like her vibes, you feel me? That's a bad. It's all about them good vibes. Mm -hmm. So you got to work. So now let's get into some better vibes. I know we're going to talk about your, your your actual move now. How long you been doing music, man? Let's talk about some music. All right, listen. I've been doing music for a long time. <laughs> I've been writing, but if you know me, I was always into sports, you feel me? Like playing basketball, AAU, all that shit. You feel me? Music was just something. Like I do. My brother, my little brother been doing music before me. He been writing, you know what I'm saying? He a, he a computer nigga. Mm -hmm. So, but he been doing music, you feel me? So my, my uncle's been doing music. My uncle been doing music. I got cousins doing music. Music always been around. But I would say I do music about like 13, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Writing. But it really wasn't rapping. But what really sparked my interest was J. Cole, Growing Simba, when that shit popped. Mm -hmm. 
Now I was dreaming about a deal at the age of 13. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit, that beat was hard. You feel me? Because that was kind of introduction to J. Cole, you feel me, to me. Right. To a lot of motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I used to tell niggas that nigga was going to pop and he did. My nigga Dukes used to say, oh, that nigga J. Cole, he ain't going to pop. And I told that nigga. He tell me to this day, <laughs> J. Cole pop, but he really set a precedence for the style I wanted. But you know what I'm saying? I listen to Outkast too. You feel me? So that was, I grew up on Dungeon Family, Goody Mob, all that shit. So. That kind of set a precedence for me too, rapping and shit. But when I got to when I got to the art institute, my homeboys, you know, two niggas from Milwaukee, one of my niggas from South Carolina, my nigga from Charlotte. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We, them niggas was doing music, but I was doing other shit. I was going to school, doing some other shit. You know what I'm saying? That I wasn't supposed to be doing while I was in school, and you know. But so that's how I linked up with them. We all linked up that way, and you know fuck around we started doing music they got me on the mic and shit got me back to rapping and shit and it went from there you know and i just kept it going after that like really taking it seriously you yeah. had your lapses because you go through life right but i'm still grinding still searching for sound but you know that's where i really started from it's something you had to go through though because i mean just hearing your story it sounded like you started off doing the heavy it was your passion and then you got to school you kind of started focusing on other things lost you know lost track of that passion but it still came around to you yeah, yeah you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah. i feel like that happens with everybody yeah. shoot i did it i I mean, people watching the show probably, you know, I started the show, then stopped it for a while, you know what I'm saying? I started focusing on other things, focusing on getting a family and stuff. My daughter's on the way in a couple months, so y'all watch out for yeah, that, too. the baby's on the way! Right, my first the one, baby's baby on girl. The, way. the baby's coming! No. But, you know, I started focusing on other yeah. things, but then I just started I just started really missing that feeling for my passion, so I just started getting back into but it. But that's life, though, you yeah. feel me? See, you know what I'm saying? It's better to be prepared for your opportunity than not be prepared at all. Les Brown, motivational speaker, he said that shit. <laughs> but, uh, just be... Just always be prepared, you know what I'm saying? I'm still searching and still grinding at the age of 26. Uh-huh. Like, damn, this shit get hard every fucking day. But at the same time, I try to keep pushing trials and tribulations, you know? You hurt feelings on the, you hurt feelings along the way, you know what I'm saying? You know, people apologize to you, but it is what it is. It's life. You get over it and grow, you know? Right. No, we were just talking about um, just life in general, you know what I'm saying? Going through those trials and tribulations. But the last question I know you mentioned, well, the last answer you did, you mentioned... Um, uh, Certain styles of music. I know you mean hundred thousand J Cole. What is your style of music? What do you feel like is your style? Um, I don't like right now. You know what I'm saying. I'm on some reckless shit right now. As far as my music, well, my mixtape is about to drop. Mm-hmm. I'm real reckless because I don't know. I'm at a point of I just want to rap. Fuck, it, I just want to rap. But I would say my style of music is more conscious. It's getting to more conscious, but it's more laid back and chill. And it got a message to it. You know what I'm saying. I ain't really. My whole soul and purpose when I started like made a pact to myself to do music was to make a difference. Cause you know, niggas rock chains and all that other shit and be wanna be fancy, you know, that's cool, but at the end of the day, how we going how we gonna survive as people, you feel me? And how I'm gonna be measured as an artist. You gotta measure yourself. You gotta look at the greats and look at niggas who did this before you and, and doing it, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Jay Z, niggas like that, you know what I'm saying? Andre, Dr. Dre. You know what I'm saying? He, he did it. You know what I'm saying? Even you got to look at athletes, Peyton Manning, like successful motherfuckers. Like, what drove them to be great? You feel me? And like, if you're gonna do something, you gotta be great in that. You feel me? I ain't gonna say I would be a great art. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna be the greatest musician, but as I just want to be a great person and a great innovator. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, so my music is more about making a difference and get, bringing good vibes. I want to chill. I smoke, as you can see right now. <laughs> you know, Mama don't like me smoking on camera, but. <laughs> I'm sorry, mama, but uh, <laughs> it's all love, mama. It's just to get him in the mood. But so. um, but nah, you know that's just my music is just to just to give you that vibe. You feel me? Like when you hear my music, cause a lot of people don't know I rap. You feel me? That's the mm-hmm. crazy thing. A lot of people don't know. I just they just know me as a film guy. Uh-huh. Work for Buck TV. Oh, you do this? You got a picture with Fifty Cent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, that's all they see. That's all they see. Yeah. But I rap. But when you gonna really get a feel of how I really feel? Cause I'm I'm conscious. I'm aware of what's going on. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And the music, it just makes me want to level up. So mm-hmm. my music is just, like I said, it's more about making a difference, telling the story. You know what I'm saying? Wu-Tang, Outkast, Q-Tip, everything all mixed in one. Just mm-hmm. playing anything. You know what I'm saying? The real real down South Southern hip-hop. You feel me? Like real down South Southern hip-hop. I, I fuck with the mumble rap. I fuck with all that. You know what I'm saying? But this is real down south hip hop. Like, mm-hmm. for your ears, nigga. Like, 
niggas can really spit in the South. You feel me? It's mumble rap, but it's some niggas in the South that's lyrically can spit. You know what I'm saying? We trying to set a president in the Carolinas because a lot of niggas don't blow out of Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Like, I respect to all the rappers that's doing it now. You feel me? I fuck with them heavy because I support them. The baby Jesus, I like all that shit because that's good for the city. You know what I'm saying? The J Ways, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to De Niro too. De Niro for Rod. I fuck with his shit. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with De Niro hard because he he tell a story. Is is he's real passionate about his music? You feel me? But my first time meeting him, I was almost scared of that nigga watching him on stage, bro, because he come with so much energy. I met like, him. His, in, his his beats and his content be like it be on point. But I met him. I, like, I met him at a show. He seen Tansy Lomax perform. She a great artist. Like uh-huh. you got to get her on here. But I met her at a show. I met him at a show, but I met him way back at the mall. He was passing out his CDs in Carolina Place. You know what I'm saying? I knew his cousin and shit. He introduced me to him, but he don't. But he'll probably don't remember that. But I met him back then. But that's just when I first met him. But just to see his music, like I shared one of his videos and shit. Like I fuck with him. Mm-hmm. I fuck with him all. I, I really support his movement because I like I like his style. You feel me? His style like my style ain't similar to his, but. I like what he tell. He got a message in his style. He made, mm-hmm. he started a movement trying to make a change and a difference for people. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I fuck with it. Yeah, I think I, I bought um I bought I think his first EP. I think it was the Rebirth. I think uh-huh. it was. I had bought that one online. So I yeah. yeah, I definitely support. You know what I'm saying? I support the people yeah, too. Yeah, I fuck with it, man. You yeah. got to support it. You got to support the local art, man. Like all that shit got to stop. Niggas got to support the local art. Fuck all that other bullshit. Right. That's the only I, way niggas gonna pop. I be trying to tell people if you can like Beyonce and Jay Z photo, you yeah, don't know like, If you know me, like my shit, share my shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that share Beyonce song in the in the second and they ain't even seen this person a day in their life. You ain't even exactly. been to a concert. You see me every day and it's like you can't even share my you it be some of the people you dap up. You know what I'm saying? Some of the people you see every day. Like, damn, you can't even share my shit. But you, but know, you would share some Beyonce. But listen. <laughs> Shout out to Beyonce though. No no this is enough. Just saying listen, support you can't, a lot of people. I gotta look at it like this. They gonna come. They come all. They gonna come on time. You feel me? Niggas gonna come on time. When you popping, that's when niggas come. Uh-huh. When you struggling, niggas ain't gonna be around. The niggas that's gonna be with you, they're struggling. They gonna be there because they want. They been there with you. They know. I want the niggas that been in the foxhole with me. You feel me? If you get what I'm saying. I get what you say. Like, if we was starving together, I want you to be with me when we shining because. You know what I'm saying? You've been down with me. You know, I understand that you've been down with me. You understand what we've been going through as men, as, you know, as women, whatever. You feel me? We understand that. So I would like to see your your manifestation be, be great as well as mine. You right. Feel me? Same it's just you, how bro. I rock. You feel me? Because you a shit. <laughs> you <good>. Fucking up. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? You a great dude. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see your manifestations come. You feel me? And I appreciate you asking me, you know. Do this interview. Of course, bro. I had to, um, after that, after, I mean, I, I already wanted to get, you know what I'm saying, some dope people on my show, but after that Sounds of 16, bro, I was like, yeah, we definitely got to get this popping because that joint, that, that verse you put in there had me, that, that, that was just wild, bro. Like I said, I don't, I don't think I ever seen you rap before. I think I seen it on your page, um, your old, your old Instagram. See, because I don't be like, I don't know. I don't be like, hey, nigga, I rap. Right. <laughs> hey, nigga, you know, what's up, man? I'm serious B, nigga, I rap. You feel me? Come by my, I ain't, I like niggas who, I buy a nigga CD. If I see a nigga who got good CD, who out there promoting shit, I'm going to buy shit. Right. Now, can I be real? A lot. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I might not listen to that shit. I might not get a rip. But he got some money in his pocket. But I got the money in your pocket. I'm going right. to support you. I might, I'm just being real. Come on. Like, I'm being real. But that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Support the culture. As as people raise the standard of the culture, you got to rise too. Right. That's it. That's, that's true. it. Absolute true. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Kendrick raised the... He raised the culture when he came out his verse. Because now, you know what I'm saying, him and Drake battling, you feel me? I, I ain't got nothing against Drake, you feel me? But it's just, now you got lyricists battling. Yeah, Big Sean, I read Sean in that too. Yeah, you I feel me? You got lyricists battling, okay, now what, the tide might turn. You feel me? Because we need real music, man, in yeah. real time. You feel me? Like, I fuck with the party music. It's going to be here forever. But let the niggas just talk that real shit. Let them speak too, because the radio yeah. got to let us talk. Because we need to talk to these people, because these people need to hear what we got to say. You know what I'm saying? The drugs is cool, but the kids can't be doing drugs forever. When they get 30, they still going to be doing drugs with kids? Come on, man. This ain't the 80s no more. You can't crack babies. You can't right. have that shit no more. You yeah. feel me? We got to grow. Yeah. You know? So, um, in the 90s. Talking about culture and stuff like that, What what is your, what do you, I guess what would be the target audience you're looking for? Who you, who you, who's your messages for? Whoever want to listen. I can't, 
tell you right now my target audience right, about you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. Whoever wanna listen, whoever wanna give me a chance and listen, I'm not begging for no I'm not, hey nigga, listen to my shit. If you wanna listen to my shit, listen to it. If you don't, you don't. Like that's it. You know, I'm still gonna keep making music. Right. You feel me? If if it gotta take me twenty years, twenty years, but I still have money, you feel me? I've still made it another way, you feel me? Because I'm I'm always gonna be innovative to make sure I have enough money and wealth to keep going and do what I wanna do. But um, you know, that's just it, man. What are um? Well, who are who are some of your favorite artists? Like, name some of your favorite artists. Everybody gonna, say, everybody <laughs> say I sound like Andre. So, like, yeah, I fuck with Three Stacks because I grew up on Outkast. You feel me? That it had a high influence on me. So I fuck with Three Stacks hard. But if I had to say, I fuck with Three Stacks really hard. I fuck with Jay hard. Um, I fuck with Biggie. I fuck with anybody. I fuck with groups. Goody Mob. I fuck with Phil Ma, I sure. fuck with um, the Young Bloods. I fuck with anybody that was good, that had substance. Q Tip. Oh, yeah. I fuck with anybody that, you know, like substance. I fuck with Young Thug. I fuck with Future. I fuck with all that shit. I like all that shit. Because you got, them niggas got substance. They talk, I mean, they may not be talking about shit I like, but I fuck with it, you know? Right. That's just the culture I grew up in. That's what I'm growing up. Like, I'm learning to embrace the culture of music. Like, I mm. can't be stuck. I love Erica Badu, though. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Erica. She was good. I had to mention that. Classic. That shit just came out. Yeah. That was random. But she always going to be a classic. Yeah, <laughs> I love I love her. I love Jill Scott. I love, oh, yeah. An- you know who? I really love Anthony Hamilton. Yeah. Like, he's a good dude. I really listen to a lot of him. So, he, I like his beats. His beats, you know, I like a lot of that soul beats. So, his, his influence has grown on me, too, because with his soul beats and stuff like that. But I fuck with shit like that, man. That's just me. I'm weird. I'm that's not in wrong with that, man. I got I got such a such a wide variety of yeah. music, man. And I, it, honestly with me it just feel on it just goes on mood most times. The fray, I fuck with the fray. Yeah. You ever heard of the fray? Yeah. The, the I, cable I listen, car. I listen to rock songs, yeah, bro. I, fuck I listen with the to techno, all of that. I fuck with uh used to fuck with Murphy Lee back in the day. He was real. <laughs> he was real. I don't know what happened to that nigga, but he was shit. <laughs> he was know? he was probably the you talking about the um from the St. St. Lunatics, Lunatics, right? Yeah, yeah, he was probably the nicest like the nicest out of other than Nelly being his thing. He was the nicest one. The niggas can spit. His album was straight. I fuck with Nelly. My mom bought me that CD. Shout out to my mom. Yeah. Now, I mean, my mom be so diverse, man, because honestly, I can go through a day and I'll be listening to Saturday one minute, then I turn on some Rich Boy. I don't know if you ever yeah. heard of him before. I turn on some Kendrick Lamar. Throw some D's on it. I, yeah, I, I turn on some Cascade. That's techno, if y'all don't know yeah. them. Some uh, Benny Benassi. I put on some some Frey, some yeah. Nickelback. Like, I got so... Country is one thing but I'm that's, touch, But though. that's good, though. They, you, you gotta have a variety of music in yeah. your catalog, man. You can't just be settled to one shit. You gotta know how to speak that language with that music. You feel me? Yeah. Like, cause that's just the culture, man. All the kids growing up in the really young kids growing up into it, they know all the little Hannah Montana songs and shit, all that. But I feel like I, even with that, I feel like it, it, it got to be a certain way you understand it. Cause like even Future, right? His that trap nigga song, you know what yeah. I'm saying? God bless all trap music. I feel like the trap don't have to be per se selling exactly. drugs. Like exactly. my trap is videography exactly. and photography. You know exactly. what I'm saying? But Shit, that's bless but you, me, bless my trap with some customers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. You feel what I'm saying? But that's just under, like I said, understanding the culture, uh-huh. giving the culture a chance. You know what I'm saying? To yeah. see, you know, giving the culture a chance. Like we can't bash the culture and say the culture back because it's the music the kids want to listen to. Cause right. If I have like you got a kid, you about to have a kid with me. What if you know what I'm saying? I have a kid and you know what I'm saying? my kid like, well, fuck it, we want to listen to the future, we want to listen to all this shit you used to listen to. All right, because that's what they're gonna want to hear. Right. You feel me? Because right. eventually that's what they, that's what they going to hear, you know. So I don't bash the culture because I listen to it because I go, you know, like we go get drunk and go to the club. <laughs> you know, come on, man. I be sometimes I be thinking about like I think it's funny how our old school is gonna be like Future and Drake, <laughs> our parents bunch of like, old tatted motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I just be thinking about that. Like damn, this this was our old school, some Future Chick- trap niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, like 45 still saying God blessing all the trap niggas. Come on, bro. The dogs right. barking. You feel me? Right. <laughs> Kind of speaking on music, but in the local community, what do you feel like Charlotte's missing music-wise? Um, to the the togetherness, I think people need to really come together and start embracing the culture. Like I said, the the whole thing about this shit is culture, right here. You feel me? That's the word I'm shouting out right now. is culture. We gotta embrace the culture. You feel me? If we don't embrace the culture in each other's music, then it ain't gonna pop. Like, I may not do the shit you do. I may not talk about the same shit you do in your music, but bro. I buy your CD. Mm-hmm. No disrespect, I, and I ain't disrespect you at your shows, none of that shit. I buy your CD. You know, we whoop, we we exchange or whatever. We talk, we build. That's how men do. We build. You feel me? Like niggas got beef. 
You know what I'm saying? I like listen. I'm new to the music scene. You feel me? I don't do shows like that. It's you know what I'm saying. I did that sweet, that 16 shit. What is it? Sounds 16. Sounds 16. I can't even talk right now. But sound, I'm sorry. Sounds Shout 16. Shout out to the crew. It sounds 16. 16 yeah. Too. You know what I'm saying? But um, and that was like I was going up there and performing, but I ain't never really did no performance. I I, I seen performing people. People mm-hmm. perform. I'm sorry. I seen people perform. You know what I'm saying? Being behind the camera and filming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done been to event, shit, and they got shot up. You know what I mean? In the club filming, shit, they got shot up. Because mm-hmm. niggas is being petty. Let niggas perform. Let them do what they want to do. You ain't building nothing, man. You 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 keep back. That's like a nigga. Okay, let's let's break it down. You trapping, right? You buying shit from the plug. The, no, you trapping, and the, the plug keep fronting you, right? You ain't getting nowhere because he keep fronting you. You need right. to buy your own shit. Yep. You feel me? So you, you can get somewhere. Going back. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Niggas keep going back. And that's how the coach is. Niggas go shoot some shit up. Now niggas going back. We at a point where you can do some shit now, but you're going back. And that's just what I see in my own eyes. And I ain't been out there like that, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just not my thing, the club. Because, I, you know what I'm saying, what I believe. I did that shit once. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I, that's all I did. But you grow out of that, you know what I'm saying? But it's just that, man. Like, come on, man. Y'all niggas just keep hustling backwards. Let's hustle forward and get this shit on the ball. Because eventually then, well, you're going to be too old to do this shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Niggas got kids. You want you want to? You know what I'm saying? It's just the culture, man. That's the word. The culture. The culture. The culture is if we can start to really build a culture and start. We do got a culture. Charlotte does have a culture in the music scene. You know what I'm saying? From what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it just we got to take the culture to another level, man. We got to make it to another level. Mm-hmm. We in a nice growing city. Mm-hmm. Just take it to the take it to the next level. Don't talk about the city being this and that. The city, nah. Take it to the next level because. Anywhere can pop, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere can pop. It's just about who you are and how you feel. Greatness is within. You know what I'm saying? It's within you. You control your own destiny and how you make that shit happen. So with that being said, you can make anything. Anything can be possible. Anything anything is possible. Anything can happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just got to grow from the situation and situations in life and keep going. Because one day it's going to open up for you and it's going to click and it's going to be the rest is history. You know what I'm saying? And with that, like I know you talking about like the culture and stuff, and 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 it sounds like community too. Do you feel like like music could be, uh, I guess, a helping force as far as our growth as a people? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then like this, is what I think. Let's let's all right. Let's break it down like this. Some people think that music, the people what people talk about in the music, fuck up the culture, mm-hmm. and make the community bad. Okay. I agree with that, but it's a lot of other shit that make the community bad too. It could help the community. You feel me? It ain't just the music that's fucking up the community. The music ain't fucking up the community now. You know what I'm saying? So it's now it's it's a borderline. Okay, the music, yeah, they, they can clean the music up. Nah, I can't. I'm not gonna be on that shit and tell a nigga to clean his music up because that's his story. Now we are the music is. We we have sold hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Black people have sold hip hop to white supremacy. You mm-hmm. feel me? We, we try to go commercial and all that other bullshit. We don't want to fucking stand ground and keep that shit and make that shit of substance because we got all the money in this fucking United States and we put it towards our culture and our shit. We can build. No disrespect to any other culture, but the Jews do it. You know what I'm saying? White people do it. Asians do it. Asians do it. <laughs> little child in town, little Mexico, all the other shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't. They ask you, um, you start this black community. Um, yeah, we start this black community. Who go work in there? Black people. Oh, who's it for? Black people. Ooh, it's too black. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's how they think of us because the way we think of being so ignorant. You feel what I'm saying? Like we got to figure out a way of building the culture and building our shit and making it to what it is. The music is the music. The music is one of the times. The mm-hmm. 20th century niggas partied and bullshit. And mm-hmm. got drunk and did pills and all that shit. <laughs> Look at the 20th century. Yeah. From little John on up. <laughs> turn up. That's turn up, nigga. So what you saying? <laughs> Barack Obama turned the fuck up. Uh-huh. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a turn of the, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a, it's a tie with the music, you know what I'm saying? It'll change, but I don't think the music, it affects the community, but it's a lot of other shit that affects the community. Let's break it down like a bubble map and put the community and put different things around the community that shows what the fuck fucking community mm-hmm. is. you drugs in the community? You know what I'm saying? It's, sometimes the churches don't help the community. We can be technical about that. You feel me? Terrible food. Terrible food in the community. Crime in the community. It's a lot of shit. 
to go in with the community, but it just ain't the music. Mm -hmm. over the, I feel you on that, but music been around for years. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's music with no motherfucking words. Niggas right. got <laughs> So that's affecting your community? The beat is affecting my community. No, it's not, man. People just need to learn how to think for themselves. It's a new America. You learn how to do for yourself. Like, these niggas can't do for us no more. They, you see this shit on TV. You see how it go, man. They can't do this shit for us no more. Get your money while you can. Build. You know what I'm saying? Build. That's what we trying to do. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> now, with all that, what do you struggle with at being a being an artist? Like, what are some of the things you struggle with? And then you talk about people supporting people and stuff like that. Uh, you know... <laughs> What you mean, like as an artist, though? Break it, you know. Like as a, as a as in music, like what what are the, what are some of the times when you like, man, it's getting rough. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. When you not when you sometimes when you not being heard and you want to be heard, let's keep it all the way from because you you think you deserve to be heard, but then you know what I'm saying. The universe just don't work like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. That put you down, but you grow from that shit and you be like, oh, I can do it again because it's always somebody watching. It don't matter who it is, somebody watching. Trying to see what you do and what you, you know what I'm saying? What you get somebody, I don't know. I ain't never met him, like, hey, but niggas know you do music, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just learning how to grow. I'm not, I'm on my speed, you feel me? Yeah. Like, I don't know, that's just how I feel. I'm on my speed. Like, it's, it's shit, personally, you still gotta get over it. as a man, as an individual, to grow into that artist, you feel me? I'm still yeah. learning how to be that, so I don't know. It's okay. just, now you just talked about some of the things you struggle with as an artist. You know what I'm saying? You want to be heard, things like that. What are some of the changes you went through on your journey? You know what I'm saying? Learning about how to become a better artist, you feel me? Because you write, you listen to, but you got to find your sound, you feel me? And what you want to talk about, you feel me? Because niggas, like, niggas want you to be with the time sometimes, you feel me? Because what I rap about ain't what other niggas rap about. Because I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I didn't sell weed before. I'm not going to lie, I did that shit. Everybody did that shit. It's the 21st century. But... I just feel like with me, it was just trying to find my sound and find what I wanted to do. And just and that was it. And I'm starting to, I'm still following my sound. I'm still coming into what I want to do musically, spiritually, all that. You feel me? But it's just like just finding my sound, finding what I want to do, you know? Because I, I go through, as an artist, me, I go through a lot of beats. You feel me? Like that's just something I notice about myself. I got to find that right beat. It just got to be hit. You feel me? I'm saying? But now, learning how to be, learning making beats now. And looping and doing different shit. You know what I'm saying? I can start to create my own sound now. So it was just like, I can do what I want. See, I didn't, like, I remember I was telling you, like, I didn't transition now. You feel me? I've been recording myself for a while. Now I'm like, fuck it. I need to go try the big studio. You feel me? I got to take that leap because I can't keep recording myself in my house yeah. thinking I'm a blow unless I put some money into myself, really, and get that real voice and that real sound and see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See what they think about this shit. But, um, that's just growing from the music, just learning how to, you know, just learning. Just learning how to be more consistent, all that. that all that in one, you feel me? Because mm -hmm. you struggle, like that's what you struggle with as an artist and being consistent, because there's so many people want to rap. You feel me? So what makes you different? What makes you stand out? It's just trying to figure out how to bridge the gap to make you great, you feel me? And that's just what it is, like, just being great, trying to be great, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this nigga got me in here open. <laughs> it's crazy you say that too, bro. Because like when you when you talk about like that's not how the universe works. You think you just get out there and you know what I'm saying, like just just be heard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. you saying now, the change you went through, you started finding your sound and finding your style. I, I went through that too myself. You know what I'm saying? The first when I started this show, I was just kind of like, let me just interview people and put them in front of the camera, put some questions about blah, blah. But then it was like. I just didn't feel like it was all the way there. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to add my personality to it. So now y'all see me in the interviews now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. That was something that I had to grow into. Yeah. That was a change. <laughs> you silly. That was a change I had to make because I had to accept like, you know, it's it's, it's cool to be you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like you said, finding your independence, finding yourself, finding your sound. Like I'm just finding my flow with this thing. You can't. Be, you don't want to be a cog to this motherfucking system. Be you, man. If you listen, you gotta stand out. Be yourself. If that's what you want to choose to do. What you want to do. Can't nobody tell you different. Can't nobody tell you you can't do it. Just do the shit. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, you're living in a new world now. You can go get that shit. You can film that shit. You can do whatever. You can get money. You can be creative. Because it's all in your hands now. You feel me? It's digital. It's all in your hands. You can do whatever you want to do with it. So be creative. Be innovative. Because that's what the world needs. You feel me? We need new innovators. If we need new inventions and all, all type of weird shit. It may sound weird, but it's the truth. Because that's how the world survives. On the shit we build, you feel me? Supply and demand. 
True, true. Stay so on a stay creative note. Y'all make sure y'all get some of the line. I got some shirts up here stay for y'all. Creative. My homie said stay creative. So I got some shirts for y'all. I'll post a link in the video too. But just wanted to You need to get the girls there. with a sign, like the ring sign up here. And then promote your shirt. I don't think your girl, no, I don't think your girl would like that, but I'm gonna do some in betweens like uh Snoop doing GTA yeah, when he be having to read the news. <laughs> Let him put on your shirt. So I don't think your girl would like that, but this just my personal opinion. Hey, I bet you would have sell more though. It might. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. Now you was just saying a minute ago you was talking about like, you know what I'm saying, we in the age right now where you can go get it. So would that be your advice to like fellow artists around, like, go for it if you want it, go get it. Yeah, go get that shit, man, cause I don't just get it, man. Be creative. Be yourself, be you. Like live free, be creative. Don't you know what I'm saying? Like be yourself. Like niggas want to be the same nigga. Like you can't be future because it's another. You know what I'm saying? It's futures. It's motherfucker. You can't be rich homie crying because it's a rich homie crying. You can't make sound like that nigga. But what makes you different? Who are you? Like what makes you different? You know what I'm saying? And that's just bridging the gap. Once you bridge the bridge the gap, then you figure that out. I don't know what bridging the gap is. That shit just sound good. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, I, I can go with that. I mean, you you bridging the gap kind of between where you are and where you want to be. Yeah, I feel you. Okay. I you know, you know how you know, we go. We gonna make it work, friends. You know how the universe works. It's always yeah. some way to make it work. You know. Okay. We're um. With that being said, for other artists, because I know they're trying to be inspired to do other things like that. Where do you see yourself going? Like, where do you see your career going? Um. Really, man, I just want to make a difference, man, and get some money. <laughs> if, if, I can, that? if I can make a difference Get some money I just want to sit courtside At a lot of NBA <laughs> games And chill I'm trying to get a couple Of them Google pictures too you Side courtside court You know side, what I'm saying You feel me That's it Fresh I don't want a little bit That's it You feel me I, I don't want a lot You feel me That's it You feel me I feel you That's, that, that's, a, that's a really humble that's, man right, there. right I'm telling you My niggas will tell you That's what I'm going to tell you Because that's what I tell them niggas All the time I, Catch me at this Lakers game of course I, when we get our shit together I'm there of course I, you feel me I'm trying to take Jack's seat when you you know what I'm saying <laughs> I should have said sorry, that sorry Jack you sound like your seat already up for grabs uh, bro that's what I'm trying to do you feel me I'm, that's it that's real shit and get like you know what I'm saying and, and smoke weed but no wrong with that <laughs> that's it that shit may sound crazy motherfuckers like oh this nigga crazy but that's it though <laughs> I feel Everybody like, got their vice, but yeah. I, don't, I don't sweat on nobody. Bro. Yeah, because I don't, I don't know, man. I just ain't like I do want to be. I want to be successful in music, you know what I'm saying? But I want to make a difference. I want to be able to help and change, impact the community in some type of way, with, you know, with the money I make in the music. You feel me? Because I just don't want to be no nigga that's just making this money and just having this shit. Right. I want to help change and build a foundation. You feel me? If I can monopolize, I want to do that shit. I don't want to sell my shit. I want to make sure my shit is built. You feel me? From the ground up and it go on. You know, no billion sellouts. dollar business. I don't want to be no sellout. So, you know, it's easier said than done, but, you know, that's just how I see it. Maybe, you know, years down the line for myself, that's just how I feel like I should be living, you feel me? I ain't trying to be a nice house, you know, but really course I, I ain't got a shit. Give me a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So as you, might now, not, say you might not even have a spot. You might be traveling so as much. As now, I don't think I'm going to get married, so I'm just going to have a, a little apartment or something and I can just travel and go to the game. <laughs> So I'm good. That's what I'm trying to do. Wishful thinking, right? <laughs> you got any um you got any projects or anything coming up? Yeah, we got the uh so this is my second mixtape I'm about to drop. I dropped on what, another one like two years ago, but I've been bullshit. Uh -huh. But um this um quest, you know what I'm saying? This quest is like it's a question. Quest means question, you feel me? If you put quest question down the middle. It's the quest. quest and I am, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So the quest is is you want a quest, like we want a quest talking black liberation, you feel me? And that's just what it is. Versus that's what I'm all about. You feel me? I let you know what I'm going through, you feel me? Like I lost my grandmother, you feel me? So it's it's like as an artist right now, I ain't gonna say it's difficult, but it's still a, it's been a year, but you know what I'm saying? I'm still transitioning as an artist, but you know, it's just I recorded that during that time, you feel me? So it's just like I'm really getting it out now. So you know what I'm saying? We going we gonna work we working on the project. That's the quest, you feel me? It's a question. That's what it means. It's questions to a lot of my, you know, it's just questions I'm asking, you feel me? I heard the bitches was bad and bougie. The future's in your hands, you got too much sauce on a little Uzi, you feel me? Like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> shit like you. that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like the future really is in your in your hands, you feel me? 
Like a lot of niggas do got a lot of sauce, you feel me? Like, come on, like it's it's a you know what I'm saying? That's just how I view it, you know what I'm saying? And after that, that project right there, I'm not gonna go into a lot. I'm just drop I'ma just show you how we do it. You know what I'm saying? I'ma just do it in a in a real creative way when I drop this project. But um and then after that, I'm already on the other one, but it's um this is gonna be a Tales from the Underground. Three songs at, at best. Uh-huh. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's a real, it's a different sound. Tales from the Underground gonna be something a little different. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be three songs. That's it. All right, all right. It's already. I gotta just do it. You feel me? It's already ready. Just gotta do the song. I'm gonna do them three songs, and that's Tales on the Underground. And then I'm just really going for this next. And then after that is, you know what I'm saying? It's from there. After that, I already got the project in mind what I'm doing there. So, is that shit gonna be powerful? So, that's Keep just gonna, working. That's but see. I'm already ahead of, like, to me, I got the music. I've been had the music. I just got to let it out. You feel yeah. Me? Like, that's my whole yeah. thing. Like, I got, I'm re- I've been recording. I got songs. Ready to go. I've been recording. I just, now I'm just letting them out. You feel me? I'm really doing this shit, so I'm really going to do some, some real Southern hip-hop different shit. You feel me? I can feel you all the way on that one, bro. Because honestly, like, I'm the same way right now. Like, when I stopped... When I stopped Under the Pressure the first time, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of went into a slump where I was just like, yeah. oh, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm gonna do? But I had, like like you said, you record a lot of music. Like, bro, I write in my phone. Like, I, well, I'm not writing my phone, but I, I put, you know, I put stories in my phone I like every the, day. That's bro. how you're supposed to be, because yeah. I write. I don't listen. I don't write as much as I'm supposed to do, but I write, you feel me? Like, I actually, I don't write on my phone when I write music. I write in a notebook, because right. I just, that's just how real authentic I want to be with that shit, because that's just me. There's a certain energy with that too, though. Yeah, it's yeah. it just the flow. You feel me? I write it the yeah. way I want to write it. See? And that's just me, you know? But it's just about staying creative every day. You feel me? I may not do something musically every day, but I try to think of something creative in my head or something. Because life, man, when you. I ain't got it, I ain't made it. You feel me? I'm still out here struggling just like everybody else. You feel me? So when you're going through life, Right now, you just you go through shit, but you gotta keep focusing on what you want because it's gonna open the door. It's gonna open up for you eventually, man. And that's just what I'm all about. That's what you should be all about. That's what my man is all about. You know? Right? No, that's the whole purpose behind the line. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I feel like creative, I feel like nigga. in any situation you win, as long stay as you creative. can try to keep that creative mindset. You know what I'm saying? It could be the, I know some people been through some bad things, but I feel like if you just stay creative in your mind with how you can get out of it, you can work yourself out of being in the slump. You know what I'm saying? Just by yeah. continuing to be creative and positive in yourself. Yeah, no doubt. You just gotta positivity, man. But you but you learn from that. Yeah. Like you gotta learn from anything, any situation, and you just gotta be positive. positive Energy, positive energy is something you need around you to be successful. And I'm starting to see that and learn that. You got to have positive people in your corner, man. You know what I'm you saying? You got any, um, do you, I know we talked about music. Do you have any film projects or anything coming up soon? Uh, yeah, we want to shoot a movie, man. It's called uh, Knowledge Born. I'm not going to go too much into it, but we want to shoot a movie called Knowledge Born. It's, you need some help, I'm with it, bro. Okay. We, I'm <laughs> definitely, I, but I've been wanting you to help me in that mug. So yeah. we've been meeting on it, but you know. It's a lot of delays in it, you know, in this thing called life with delays, but we trying to work on that, and I don't know, I do want to do some shit, just some creative shit, so I might just drop something soon, just on some creative shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like, I really want to do something creative, but I don't know, I'm more, I just now I want to do more documentaries and real shit, you feel me, like, I want to go really in depth in these streets, because there's a lot of shit going on in the streets that need to be seen, to let motherfuckers know. You got you got to open your eyes. You feel me? Like I want, you know, I want substance too. But we got to take it to the streets too. You know what I'm saying? Get the people what they want. You know. True, true. What um, what can we expect from Series B in the rest of 2015, 2017, Trevor? Twenty seventeen. Um, growth, man. Just keep growing. That's the main. That's the main goal. That's the key. To keep growing. <laughs> Is to keep growing, baby. That's the main goal. Keep growing. Keep going. Keep growing and keep going. But um, yeah, that's just to keep growing, man. As an artist, as an individual, as a person, as a man, just learn how to li- live life better, man. Like real, real talk. Because when you out here being a savage, that ain't the way you're supposed to be. I'm trying to be civilized. You feel me? You feel me? And that's just who I am. That's who I am. Just trying to be a civilized person. You feel me? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Power is a force of reality. You feel me? And like, 
I need I my parents. Really force me. Yeah, I like that. I need, you know what I'm saying? I need that to be. I need my reality to be my powers. The shit I see and vision for myself, I need that to come true for me. So, you know, just keep grinding and keep growing. I never heard it from that angle. I always hear people say, like, you know, it's power and imagination and speaking things mm -hmm. to existence. Mm -hmm. Power is a force of reality, yeah, man. What you mean? Power, power, is for, power is the force of reality. You got to understand that. When you got the power, you create your own reality. You feel what I'm saying? I hear that. <laughs> like, you got to understand. Look at that shit. You live in times where these niggas controlling shit. And they creating your reality. Mm -hmm. Reality TV shows. Your shows on TV. They creating your reality, you feel me? Because mm -hmm. they got the power. They got the TV. And they got the power to make the shows. Mm -hmm. To do what the fuck they want to do. So, they got the power. So, it's just like, fuck it. That's their reality. But now, nah, I'm just like, fuck it. I, I got a camera so I can make my own reality. And show you what I want to show you. Right. But make it more real. Have a lot of substance. You know, have a lot of pain. Gritty. You know what I'm saying? Grimy, all that shit, that real real life, because that's what people go through. You feel me? Like, I just seen some, I watched some, I watch a lot of movies, you feel me? A lot of films, you feel me? And a lot of crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Shit like, uh, this shit called a Pimp uh, pimp Snooky. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's on YouTube, you just type in Pimp Snooky. I'm going to have to check it out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? It's I watch a lot of crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? It, it's a lot of informal stuff, so you know that's just who I am, and like that's just what I'm trying to go for. Grass for just create a just create a different reality for myself and my people. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you don't want to live the same way for the rest of your life. When you struggle so much, it's like, all right, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> who around me? What I what I need to change? Uh -huh. What I needed to do different? You know what I'm saying? Cause it, cause it's like I'm going in the same cycle. Cause that's being, what's it psychotic? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Insane. Insane, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing something over and over. Expecting different results. results. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you find yourself in them situations. Because you be like, damn, I was in this situation before. But it's now like, as you grow as a person, it's like, how can I better myself and not put myself in them situations? Because if I do, I'm going down this wrong path. And I don't want to go down this path. I want to live positive. You feel me? Like, the worst thing I say in life this is a public service announcement. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck up your credit, young kids. <laughs> like, whatever you do, don't fuck up. If you don't want to go to college, don't go. That's another thing in the community we're missing, financial literacy. Yeah. We you, if you don't want to go to college, too. don't go. You go get your trade or something. Yeah. Don't fuck up your credit, man. Get you some good credit so you can start living, start building your business, yeah. and then get that money. <laughs> and then you can do what the fuck you want to do. If you want to go to the strip club and spend all your money, do that. But, just, you know what I'm saying? That's why I fucked up, man, to be real, you know what I'm saying? But don't don't fuck up your credit. That's just some crazy shit because nobody ain't going to tell you that. But I'm going to tell you, don't fuck up your credit. But now you got to get that cash, though. Credit ain't going to mean that we got all that cash. Man, if I get all that cash, you feel me? I ain't trying to be like black niggas. I can't walk around with that goddamn cash. I'm too tight of a nigga to walk around with all that cash. I ain't flashing shit. Like, it ain't nothing, Exactly. Boy. But that's just him, you know what I'm saying? More power to him. No disrespect, but goddamn. Yeah, I mean, I can't goddamn. Nah. Like, you young, mean? if I ever get you on the show, bro, if you bring that bag, leave it here. I know you got plenty of them, bro. You leave it here. I will, I will bless you with hella promotions for that episode, bro. <laughs> that shit crazy, right? Yeah. But um, a lot of good stuff in this interview, for real, man. Um, what, what, How can people find you in your music? Shit. Um, shit. Series B on SoundCloud. I mean, I ain't really been posting shit up there lately, but I'm going to get back on it. But Series B on SoundCloud. Uh, Sirius B on Instagram, you know, Black Liberation on Twitter though. Fuck with me on Twitter. I don't be on Twitter like that, but I'm about to get back on my Twitter game. But really, fuck with me heavy, man. That's where I be. That's where I post videos on Instagram. Um, you know, I'm really, like I said, I'm in the transition with the music right now. So this is kind of my first official interview to the airways, and I appreciate Phoenix Films. Hey, Films. I'm glad to be the first, bro. That's what's up. Uh, to do this for me, man, because you know this is a uh, Epic moment in history, I guess, you know, for me. But <laughs> Tell, now, 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 just real quick before we end this, uh, give them a, a quick description of, of what Series B means. Cause I know we talked about that earlier. All right, so listen. Like, like S C R I O U S, like Series B. Is, you yeah. feel me? Like Series B is a star. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? If you study the Dogon tribe, look up the Dogon tribe and then break down what Series B is. But that's what I feel like I represent. You feel me? Like 
I'm from, you feel me? I feel like we from a different planet, a different place. That's where I feel like I'm from, you feel me? I'm a melanated person, you feel me? I'm from I'm from a whole another different dimension. I am God, you feel me? Like, that's just, I don't know. you know, that's just what I feel like, you feel me? So it ain't like that's just what I changed my name to. And when I changed my name, like, that's what I wanted to be. It just felt right, you feel me? It ain't feel like no other shit. It just felt like some, because I told my girl at the time, I'm like, yo, I'm saying my name is Serious B. You know what I'm saying? You know, Wisdom B, but I, I, I was comfortable rocking with it, you feel me? It gave me something, you know, it gave me a little power, a little juice, a little bit to myself. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people like the name, I like the name, so that's what I'm rocking with, you know what I'm saying? So, and see where we go from here, but you know, it's Black Liberation. You know what I'm saying? It's all about Black Liberation. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Young E. Dot. Shout out to my nigga Sino Dollars, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Young Tedro, you feel me? Shout out to all my niggas who been out here really doing this shit, you feel me? Like, real shit. You know what I'm saying? We keep grinding, keep pushing. We just trying to prosper, my man. That's all, man. I appreciate you, though, bro. Of course, bro. I appreciate you getting on the show, bro. God you damn. already know what it is. I'm, um, high, I'm high as a bitch. Bro. <laughs> you good, high. bro. You good. It's still going to be a great interview. Like I said, you got a lot of good, uh, lot of good answers. I'm pretty sure the people going to want to know a lot more about you after this one. Um... But y'all know what it is. Um, check out the Stay Creative clothing line. Like I said, I got a couple new shirts out right here for y'all. Y'all check it out. I'm put the link in the bio. Go grab and those. Thank y'all again for tuning in. It's your boy Quasi Lotus for my homie Series B. Appreciate y'all tuning in. He called me Brian. <laughs> that nigga called me Brian. Nah. I'm about to say, we'll cut that one I out. I appreciate buddy. you, my man. No of course, man. Y'all tune in next time. Peace.